Many people in the West Papuji have spent a long, long time looking for a realized master. What advice can you give them? How would you advise them to conduct a search for a fully enlightened being? They cannot find, they cannot find. They cannot find a true master, cannot be seen by the eyes. Cannot be seen by the eyes. Therefore, if they try to see by their by their senses, they can't make a good uh, judgment because master is beyond the senses and beyond any judgment you can't see. If you feel your mind is quiet and you feel some kind of happiness and peace and that can be the outer symptoms of a teacher and only those people who are, who are intensely devoted to freedom, they can only sense it, not others. So when you go to a teacher, you keep quiet, you need not give any question, don't expect any answer, you just see, sit quiet and feel if your mind is quiet or not. If it is quiet, then you expect this is, this is the man who can teach you. This is the man who is worth staying near. <laughs> if you are very intensely in want of this thing for freedom and you don't understand, so this freedom out of compassion takes a physical form to speak to you in your own tongue so that you understand what is freedom and then it teaches that I am your own self and then it enters your own self and become one. This is the role of the teacher to point out to you I am yourself, I am that itself. This is the role of the teacher. For some time it becomes a teacher to just apprise you of the fact that you are that, you don't listen. Therefore, he becomes teacher. That becomes teacher to tell you, you are that itself. And then you see teacher and you is one. <laughs> Everyone who comes to you you are encouraging them to look for their own self. Why, why are you doing this? What motivates you to do this? My own happiness because they are sleeping mm. and they are suffering when the treasure is within them. To have any teaching <coughs> is preaching. Teacher has no teaching no method, no way. To know thy own self, you don't need any teaching. What you really are, always you are that itself. No one is going to teach you. You have to realize who you are, here and now, this moment. Mapuji, people in the West are being continuously bombarded with spiritual advice. All kinds of gurus and groups are telling Western audiences, join us and you will be happy. What exactly is different about your message and why should anyone listen to it? They advise the people to destroy them. Mm -hmm. To destroy them and I tell them to reject those teachers and preachers and come to me. <laughs> I will give you good advice. <laughs> Don't, listen. <laughs> Don't listen to anybody's advice, mm -hmm. neither to my advice. Mm -hmm. Peep within you and listen to your own voice. What do you hear? Mm -hmm. Don't listen to any advice because any advice belongs to the past. Mm -hmm. So there's no advice to know thyself. Mm -hmm. So don't listen to anybody's, anybody's advice. You keep quiet. This is the best advice. <laughs> I give advice, keep quiet. 
don't think and don't make any effort. This is my advice. And if you follow it, you have done very well for you and for everybody and all the beings of the world. So following any advice, except the advice, be quiet, takes you away from the self and not towards it. Of course, of course it has because it takes you to the past. Many people have tried to be quiet, to be still, and they haven't succeeded. What are they doing wrong? To give up the intention to keep quiet. If they can't keep quiet, give up the intention to keep quiet, then what will happen? There's no object in the mind, no person, no thing, no concept that can return you happiness and peace of mind. So I just tell them, give them this information, don't look here, there, anywhere. Peace is within you and within the heart of all beings. So if you keep quiet, don't look anywhere, don't allow your mind to abide anywhere and you will see that it is peace, happiness itself. That is the fundamental truth and every being in the world is happiness itself. Apaji, I think that most people who come to see you would say that you're giving out something more than information. Almost everyone who comes to you feels that there is some power, some grace in your presence and that this power and this grace enables them to find out who they really are. Do you have any comment on this? Definitely I am, I have, I am pointing out <clears throat> at their own self which is the fountain of the grace, of love, of beauty. Here rises the love and peace also, just point them out, look within yourself for one second and you will not search, not find, you will see that you are peace itself. Papaji, you say that enlightenment is a very easy thing to discover. And yet, I have heard you say many times that the number of people who have fully woken up to their own selves can be counted on one's fingers. If it is so easy, why do so few succeed? It's so easy because you have not to work for it. It's so easy you have not to go anywhere. You have not to go anywhere. You have to stay quiet. Therefore, it is very easy to attain freedom is very easy but it it becomes difficult the people say difficult because they are otherwise engaged so to give up their attachment to other things is difficult not the freedom is not difficult to disengage yourself from other attachments may be difficult that you have to decide once upon a time, now, our, our next life. Let there be peace and love among all beings of the universe. Let there be peace. Let there be peace. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti.